All right, welcome to uh, this month's newsletter for uh, November 1st, uh, which will be for October uh, 2020. I'll be looking at the bank Nifty, and uh, we are above the cloud, and then we are going back and forth uh, in a congestion area. Uh, going down, uh, even if the if the bullish bear values market uh, immediately, the Chicago will enter a congestion area. So, uh, also notice that you're going to. Uh, Um, so the support essentially is going to start trending up. So that is the good news, of course. Uh, if they can hold the Cajun, the next likely support will be the Chicago Dow. Uh, but by that time, the Chicago, um, that's the main concern is that it might get into a congestion area. So have to keep a watch. Uh, you can still be bullish, but again, the, the distance between where the market is and where the Cajun is or where the Kumo is. That is obviously something that um, you have to take into account. Um, Dollar uh, also bullish chart, um, but notice the Chicago entering into congestion. It doesn't look like the Cajun is on the spot, but um, the Kumo is very thin here and trending. So if the devs um, have to Make a punch. This is it. Uh, they can uh, they can take the market down right here. Uh, so if you are long, you can continue to hold on as long as the bears are looking at the cajun. Uh, to buy, uh, I would not be afraid to buy it with a close around the thirty three uh, thirty three thousand area or whatever the Chicago is. I'll buy thirty three. I'll be the five point four area. I would not. Of uh, was also bullish chart had a very nice Chicago breakout. Uh, now we're obviously way far from the Kijun, uh, but keep in mind your Kijun is going to start moving up now. So this is the risk of our just to come and just to look at these candles, unless the bullish bear rally the market back about its uh, 24,750 area, uh, you are going to enter a congestion area. So uh, be careful there if you are long and you're doing the Chicago breakout strategy. Same thing with ICICI Bank. Um, if you're wrong, you can do it. at least have the position is paid out. Um, continue to hold the remaining position um, until it closes below the Kijun. State Bank of India is in a bearish position. It did bounce off the candles, but in another few days, they're going to be beneath the candles. Uh, they're also taking the Kumo and As they go up, as the Chicago drops below the Chicago Dow. BEML just continue to move uh, sideways. We're developing some uh, uh, stocks to be behind the fast money probably. Uh, if it continues to move it down, the Chicago moves down below these candles, it can be have an excellent rally. So continue to watch that. I would not be thinking of going long on this one yet. Uh, Lupin. Uh, Lupin again had a nice start back here, but it failed. Now it can't hold the Kijan, not as the trending Kumo, and that's where they usually break it. Chicago has broken below the Ken, uh, below the Kumo as well. If you look at the weekly chart, the weekly is still bullish, so uh, uh, I won't be very hesitant to short here if uh, the next maybe set uh, Chicago area sets all these candles. So you might have a sideways move. And LNT had a, had a gap down here last week. Uh, still, they found strong support off of Kumo and with the Kijun. I would not be afraid to short it below the below the areas down here, um, below the 850 area. Um, if they can show that the Chicago can be below this level, otherwise, at this point, the uh, cash chart is going to be closed here. And, uh, but again, uh, we're not going to buy. And uh, last but not the least, looking at Nifty uh, sideways movement, uh, region going to start coming up for support. Uh, but notice, unless the bulls can rally fast about these highs of 4,000, you're going to run into congestion and you have a very thin promo. So that might be the place where the basis for the downturn. Uh, 
Uh, and if you're doing a cool breakout, then uh, make sure uh, you're focused on your, your best strategy as well. That'll be it.